Among the towering bluffs and rich canopy of the Shawnee National Forest, you'll find a 5,100-acre plot of land in Polk County, the largest experiment station of its kind east of the Mississippi River. The Dixon Springs Agricultural Center, operated by the University of Illinois since 1934, has conducted significant applied agricultural research in crop science, animal science, natural resources, forestry, and horticulture. The Ag Center links the laboratories and classrooms of the University of Illinois at Urbana and the USDA with the farms in Southern Illinois. In the 1960s, significant research findings and advancements were discovered at the Ag Center, including no-till farming, a concept conceived by University of Illinois agronomist George McKibben. While this was an unheard of practice during that time, his research yielded critical and significant advancements within the agricultural industry that changed how people farm today. Today, you'll find a group of educators, staff, and specialists continuing relevant, timely research to connect local communities to the university to develop programs, tools, and knowledge that will support needed change. Illinois Extension Agriculture and Natural Resources programs support the economic viability and environmental sustainability of natural and managed landscapes and productive lands in Illinois. The Extension Forestry Team at Dixon Springs offers numerous outreach, education, and training opportunities covering various forestry and natural resources related topics. Extension Forestry maintains a working 100 tap sugar bush at Dixon Springs that serves as a demonstration and research site, which is the focus of their annual backyard maple syrup production workshop. The event attracts anywhere from 80 to 110 people each year to learn the process and steps in producing your own maple syrup. The Ag Center has around 1,200 acres of forest, including a 25-acre demonstration forest located adjacent to the administration building. This forest allows easy access for public to see a forest actively managed with practices such as thinning, invasive species control, and prescribed fire. Animal scientists conduct beef cattle research focusing on grazing management, nutrition, genetics, reproduction, and pest management at the Dixon Springs Ag Center. The center maintains a herd of 900 cattle, the largest herd of any research facility east of the Mississippi. In 2021, they bred over 650 cows, of which 500 were supplied to the main campus for research. All cows are bred via artificial insemination, then placed with a cleanup bowl. AI has allowed the development of a herd with similar genetics, which in turn allows for consistent and reliable research data. The GrowSafe system, which tracks individual animals' daily intake and feeding behavior, has a new location at the Dixon Springs Ag Center. This system allows for expanding projects with cow-calf pairs and increases the support from 150 to 450 animals per trial. The intake data can then determine which genetics produce the most efficient animals. Through intensive pasture management, the Ag Center has transformed less productive pastures into lush forages for grazing cattle, and since 2020 has reclaimed more than 700 acres. The long-term goal is to improve pasture management production to provide year-round grazing to reduce purchase feed costs. Many collaborative efforts amongst the different departments have been conducted over the years, and departments assist each other when particular skill sets are needed. As an example, forestry staff assisted in burning off fields in preparation for the establishment of a pasture forage demonstration plot. Extension has worked closely with animal sciences on several reproductive biology research trials, including the Ivy Leaf program, where undergraduate interns at the Ag Center learn more about beef cattle husbandry and the yearly Dixon Springs Ag Center Beef Field Day. Currently, Extension, Veterinary Sciences, Forestry, and the Medical Entomology Lab at the Illinois Natural History Survey are investigating the impacts of invasive plants. The project examines the relationship between different suites of invasive plants and the prevalence and diversity of tick species and associated human and animal pathogens. Representative invasive species are bush honeysuckle, Japanese shaft flower, 
and Japanese silk grass. Specifically, they are looking at how the temperature and humidity microclimates in the invasive plant canopy differ between species and how these changes influence tick populations and tick-borne disease carriage rates. For almost 60 years, fruit and vegetable research and extension outreach has been conducted on site, providing Midwest growers with a wide range of information on various topics. In 2010, the first high tunnel was erected on site and it now houses three commercial size high tunnels. Collectively, the tunnels provide just over 9,000 square feet of indoor growing space to extend various crops growing seasons, allowing for year-round research trials. Research and demonstration trials during the past few growing seasons include winter vegetable production of lettuce, spinach, kale, and carrots, tomato fertility focusing on potassium application timing, observations and sampling of tomato, pepper, and hemp varieties, and hydroponic production of cucumbers, herbs, raspberries, and strawberries. During the 2021 growing season, the team harvested over 10,000 pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables from research and demonstration plots. Just over 3,300 pounds of the produce harvested from the high tunnels at DSAC was donated and distributed to various community organizations, programs, and individuals in need. Beginning in 2021, the local foods team and campus-based researchers launched an applied research project to study the use of natural predator insects as biological controls within high tunnel production systems. Instead of applying pesticides, beneficial predator insects were released throughout the growing season. The results are promising, with the number of aphids, whiteflies, and leafhoppers decreasing in high tunnels where predators were released. The project was made possible through the funding from the Extension Collaboration Grants. The grants are part of an ongoing effort to connect campus-based researchers and field staff to do applied research projects that will improve the quality of life of Illinois residents. Engaging youth in positive and supported learning experiences is another cornerstone at Dixon Springs. The 4-H Youth Development Program works collaboratively with all departments to offer educational programs to youth ages 5 to 18. The Ag Center serves as a host site for 4-H meetings, FFA career development events, youth leadership trainings, tours, and more. Another example of collaborative efforts at Dixon Springs is the Youth High Tunnel. Through this project, Agriculture and Natural Resources, 4-H Youth Development, and Family and Consumer Sciences Extension staff housed on site work together to engage youth within the community. The High Tunnel, an outdoor learning laboratory, is ideal for workshops centered on hands-on, experiential learning. By providing this opportunity, youth not only learn how to grow their own fresh fruits and vegetables, but develop a sense of pride, knowing they are making a difference in combating food insecurity within the six-county unit. For over 30 years, the Dixon Springs Ag Center has hosted Stewardship Week, an outdoor environmental education program for K through 6th grade students. This large-scale event with over 100 trained professionals and 30 co-sponsoring organizations combines forces to offer a high-quality educational experience for local youth. Around 1,500 students participate each year as professionals lead hands-on educational activities related to conservation and environmental stewardship. This award-winning program conveys the importance of taking care of our natural resources while creating future stewards of our planet, as we are all, in some way, connected to the land. So whether you are from the area or just passing by, we hope you will stop in to see us. Our staff, educators, and specialists can give you a tour of the grounds to discuss current research projects that are continuing to improve the practices of farming, agriculture and forestry in the heart of Southern Illinois.